Hi everyone, and in today's Tanker Shop tutorial, you're going to learn how to design coasters using Inkscape. Begin by clicking on the Inkscape icon and opening the program. You will notice there is a square in the middle of your screen. This is known as your canvas. Anything you design within this canvas will be captured by the program. If you design things outside of this canvas, the program will not recognize it and it will not be captured. We're going to be focusing on three tools today. The first tool is going to be your mover tool. The second is going to be your square tool. And the third tool you're going to be using is your text tool, which is this little A with the cursor beside it. But first, let's adjust our document properties for this project. Begin by clicking on the file menu and selecting document properties. A new window will appear. In the drop down menu beside display units, please select IN for inches. In the drop down menu beside units, also select inches. Within the width and the height, you can type in your measurements, and today we're going to be using 12 by 12 inches. When you hit enter, you will notice that your canvas has now changed. Although it doesn't look like it on the screen, but in real life, this document is sized for 12 by 12 inches. Next, we're going to click on the square tool and start creating the outline for how our coasters will be shaped. Place your cursor at the corner of the canvas, left click and drag your mouse to create a square. You'll notice these little white balls in the corner of your square. Clicking and dragging on them will allow you to create a beveled edge. Next, we'll adjust the size of our coaster. Click on your move tool and click on your square and you'll notice the top of your menu has changed. Here you can control the width and the height of your square. Click with inside the box and type in your desired width and also do the same for the height. You'll notice your square now has changed shape. To make a copy of your square, right click on the object and select duplicate. Click and drag and you should have two identical shapes. To speed up the process, click and drag a square around your two objects, right click, hit duplicate, and you should have now four identical squares. Click and drag a square around all four objects. Next we will be adjusting its fill and stroke for these objects. You can go under options and click fill and stroke to open this menu. Because we'll be setting these shapes to cut, we want to click on the fill tab, click X to remove the fill. We still want a stroke, so click the stroke paint tab and click the solid square beside the X to create a stroke. It doesn't look like anything's on the page right now, and that's because it's in a cutting settings. But for now, we're going to change that to be visible, and we'll come back to the cutting settings later. Take your cursor over to the Stroke Styles tab, click on it, and in the drop down menu, instead of millimeters, scroll down to IN for inches. Select that, and then change within the width box 0 0.010, and click Enter. Here you should be able to see the outlines of your coasters. Next we're going to create some text to put on our coasters. Take your cursor and go over to the left hand column and click on the A with the cursor. Click anywhere on the screen with your mouse and begin to start typing. You'll notice the menu bar at the top has changed once again. Here you'll be able to change either the text, if it is bold, or if you would like to center your text. You can also change the font style of your text by going over to the right hand column and clicking the large T. Another window will appear with a preview of what your text will look like. By selecting a different font style, you can scroll through to see what your font will look like. When you find one that you're happy with, you can then click the apply button and it will automatically change your text. Next, you can close the window for now and close both windows to make your canvas a bit easier. Go back to your Move tool, select your text, and by clicking and dragging on the arrows, you can make your text either bigger or smaller. Please move it into place within your canvas, and now you have created your own text. Now we will begin importing images through Google Chrome. Click on the Google Chrome icon at the bottom of your toolbar, and in the search menu, type in 
an image, for now use coffee, vector, black and white. Next click on the image option, scroll through and find a lovely black and white image that would be ideal for laser engraving. Actual photographs are not ideal for laser engraving. Please look for something that has hard lines or silhouetted looking images. When you find an image that you actually like, please click on it and then right click on top of your image and go to save image as. Save it to the desktop for now. This image will download and then go back to the Inkscape icon and we'll begin importing this image into our design. Next, go up to the file menu and click on import. A window will open, click desktop where you saved your image, scroll down and select your image and click open. Click OK and you've imported your first image. Now we'll convert it to a vector image. Take your cursor and go up to the path menu. Click on the third option down called Trace Bitmap. A new window will open, or it'll be tucked in the toolbar on your right hand side. Select your image by making sure it still has its arrows and dotted lines around it. Click on the Update button and then click OK. It doesn't look like anything's happened, but you'll actually have two images. The image that's transparent, image that's transparent is your vector image that is suitable for laser engraving. Another way to tell which is your vector image and the one image that you've imported is if you click on it with your edit path tool, nodes will appear. You can adjust these nodes and edit the vector image. Click on your move tool and click on your vector image to size it appropriately for your laser engraved design and then move your vector image to be placed inside of your coaster lines. Click on your imported image and click delete to remove it. Okay, let's import another image. Click on your Chrome icon, scroll up to the very top of the menu, and type in the next image that you're looking for. Today we're going to look for a compass. Scroll down, Find the image that you would like to import, open it, right click on your image, save image as. Save it to the desktop, go back to the Inkscape icon, go to File, Import, scroll down on the desktop, Select your image, click Open, and click OK. Go over to your Trace Bitmap window, click on Update, and click OK. You should have another vector image now. Resize your image, and click and drag it to within the space of your coaster. Then click on your imported image, and click Delete. Let's create some more text for our last coaster. Click the A with the cursor, and click anywhere on the page, and start typing out your text. Go up to the menu and center your text. Click on your Move tool, and select Font and Text on your right hand side. This will bring up the window again, and you can select your own font style through the menu. When you find the font that you like, you can click the apply button and your text will automatically change. Click and drag the arrow on your text to increase or decrease the size. Position your text into place and now we'll begin to set the cut lines for our coasters. Holding down your shift button, select just the outlines of your coasters. This will allow you to select multiple objects. Go over to your fill and stroke option on the right hand side. Click the fill tab to double check that you don't have a fill. The X is selected. Go over to your stroke paint, the solid square selected, and then go to stroke style. 
but instead we're going to change the number to 0 0.001. Entering in 0 0.001 will ensure that it cuts properly in the laser cutter. It will look like your lines have disappeared, but if you zoom in, you will still see the outlines of your design. Lastly, we're going to save our design. Go to File, Save As, and type in Coasters. And we're going to save two versions of our file. We're going to save the SVG format of our file, and we're going to also save a PDF version. Click Save, and then go to File, Save As again. Click on File, Save As, but this time click the drop down menu and select PDF, Portable Document Format. Click Save, and then click OK. And you've now created coaster files for the laser cutter at the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library. Thanks so much for watching, and please visit us at innisfilidealab.ca. Have a wonderful day.